Next, the world's most advanced telescope took another leap forward this afternoon as its mirrors were unfolded a million miles from Earth. NASA's James Webb Observatory is the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. More mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. I should also say that uh, the news yesterday was that this object came closest to the sun uh, and it received a huge amount of heat from the sun. Mm -hmm. And uh, the latest report indicates that it became extremely bright, much more than expected for familiar comets. This morning we have a report that the object got much brighter than expected. And moreover, the color of the object is blue bluer than the sun and that's very surprising because usually when there is dust around an object it should make it red the first true image of three i atlas captured by the james webb space telescope is far more than another milestone in observational astronomy it represents a defining moment in our pursuit to understand the mysterious wanderers that occasionally drift into our solar system from the deep interstellar void until now such objects Three, I Atlas being only the third confirmed interstellar visitor, were fleeting, little more than faint blips that telescopes struggled to follow before they vanished back into darkness. But Webb's extraordinary clarity has changed that. For the first time, we can truly see one of these cosmic strangers in high definition. The result isn't just a photograph, it's a revelation, a lifting of the veil that once concealed an interstellar enigma revealing a portrait that inspires both awe and relentless curiosity. The image radiates with Webb's unmistakable precision. Atlas appears sharp, defined, almost tangible, something previous generations of telescopes could never achieve. Earlier visitors like Oumuamua and 2 I Borisov were studied through limited lenses, their true nature blurred by technological boundaries. We knew their paths. We estimated their compositions but their essence remained elusive. Now, Webb's infrared eyes have pierced through that uncertainty. Its position beyond Earth's atmosphere frees it from distortion, allowing it to capture faint light and subtle contrast that ground-based observatories could never resolve. In Webb's gaze, Atlas is no longer a dim streak against the stars. It is a distinct body, its surface etched with texture, its spectrum rich with chemical fingerprints, surrounded by a delicate coma of outgassing material. One of the image's most striking revelations lies in the surface texture of 3 I Atlas. For years, astronomers debated whether interstellar objects resembled the icy comets of our solar system or the rocky asteroids born closer to the sun. The answer, it seems, is both. Webb's capture reveals shimmering patches that glint with reflected light, suggesting volatile ices vaporizing under sunlight. But interspersed among them are darker scars and fractured terrain, the marks of impacts accumulated during its long, wandering exile through deep space. This duality, half-comet, half-asteroid, suggests that Atlas is a hybrid, a relic forged in the outer reaches of some distant star system later cast adrift by gravitational upheaval. Surrounding Atlas is its faint, luminous coma, a thin halo of gas and dust that turns it from a static object into a living traveler. It's not as grand as the tales of major comets, but its very existence is profound. It means that even after crossing the cold gulf between stars, Atlas still carries volatile compounds preserved from its birth. As sunlight warms its frozen skin, those materials awaken, releasing into space the untouched chemistry of another world. For astronomers, this is priceless. It offers a pristine sample of matter unaltered by billions of years of solar radiation or planetary contamination. In essence, Atlas is a time capsule, a frozen echo of its parent system, holding within it the unprocessed remnants of its creation. Webb's instruments didn't stop at imaging. Its spectrographs split Atlas's light into its elemental components, revealing a chemical fingerprint both familiar and alien. There's water ice, yes, 
but also complex organic molecules rarely seen in our solar system's comets. These compounds hint at the chemistry that unfolds under alien suns, governed by temperatures, pressures, and radiation we can only imagine. Some may even represent the universal seeds of life, molecules capable of igniting biology when delivered to the right world. If Atlas indeed carries such ingredients, it strengthens the profound idea that interstellar travelers are messengers of creation distributing the raw materials of life from one star system to another, turning the galaxy into a vast exchange of chemical potential. Atlas's size adds yet another layer of intrigue. Where Umiumua was a slender shard only a few hundred meters long and Borisov a small comet-like body, Atlas spans several kilometers across, large enough to qualify as a full-fledged comet nucleus. That scale implies resilience. To be ejected intact from its home system, Atlas must have survived a cataclysmic encounter, perhaps a gravitational slingshot from a massive planet or a passing star. Such survival suggests that the space between stars may be more crowded than we imagine. If one such object could escape, countless others likely have too. Turning interstellar space into a quiet highway of drifting debris, each piece a fragment of a different world. Webb's precise measurements of Atlas's orbit confirm its interstellar origin beyond any doubt. Its trajectory follows a hyperbolic arc, entering our solar system once, then departing forever. It will not return. It is simply passing through, and Webb has frozen that fleeting encounter in breathtaking detail. There's a strange poignancy in that realization. This cosmic traveler will never come back never cross our sky again. Yet in this brief moment, we've captured it, its light, its structure, its story, before it vanishes into eternity. Without Webb's power, Atlas might have been just another blurry mark in the astronomical record. Instead, it stands as a case study in how worlds are born, shaped, and flung into the vastness between stars. Comparisons with its predecessors deepen the mystery. Where Umuamu is peculiar, Elongated shape sparks speculation about artificial origins. Atlas appears more conventional, though still otherworldly in detail. Where Borisov behaved like a familiar comet, Atlas straddles both identities, comet and asteroid alike. Each of these travelers tells a different story, each revealing the diversity of planetary systems scattered across the galaxy. No two interstellar visitors may ever be the same. And that, perhaps, is their greatest lesson. Each one is a glimpse into a different solar architecture, a different history of formation and loss. Webb's image proves that every arrival is a window into another world's past. The implications extend far beyond astronomy. Planetary scientists must now reckon with the fact that entire kilometer-scale objects can be expelled intact from their home systems. Astrobiologists gain evidence that the building blocks of life may indeed travel from star to star. Cosmochemists are handed a laboratory sample, material from beyond our solar cradle, preserved in the cold of deep space. Even philosophy finds meaning here. Matter from unknown stars has passed by us. Tangible, visible, whispering of a vast, interconnected galaxy. For the public... Webb's photograph is more than science. It's an invitation to wonder. Unlike speculative renderings or grainy telescope images, this is real. A sharp, luminous portrait of a visitor from another star, glowing faintly against the infinite night. It makes the galaxy feel smaller, closer, almost personal. Somewhere long ago, a distant sun warmed this object. Somewhere, unseen forces tore it free, and sent on a voyage that led, improbably here, to us. To look upon it is to gaze at a story written in ice and stone, a journey spanning millions of years and uncountable distances. Webb's success also reignites human imagination. Today, we can only watch from afar. But one day, missions may intercept such travelers directly, sending probes to study them up close to bridge the gap between remote observation and physical exploration. Webb's image is the spark for those ambitions, a demonstration of what is possible 
when human ingenuity looks outward. For the scientists who built and operate Webb, this moment is vindication. The telescope was designed not only to peer into the early universe, but also to explore the details of our galactic neighborhood. Capturing Atlas unites those goals beautifully, a local discovery with cosmic consequences. Every pixel represents years of engineering perfection and persistence. Seeing it culminate in such a revelation is a triumph shared by the entire scientific community. And this is only the beginning. As data continues to pour in, researchers refine their models of Atlas's rotation, composition, and thermal behavior. Each new insight adds depth to its portrait, turning a passing curiosity into a cornerstone of interstellar science. What Webb has provided is not a conclusion, but an opening chapter, a foundation upon which years of exploration will build. The true wonder of Atlas lies not only in its uniqueness, but in what it represents. Proof that interstellar space is alive with travelers, each carrying the signature of a different world. For the first time, humanity can look upon one of these messengers clearly, see it not as an abstract point of light, but as something real, textured, and present. That shift from a theoretical to the tangible is transformative. There is something deeply humbling in Webb's achievement. The light we see from Atlas began its journey from another sun, across interstellar darkness, to reach our instruments. That connection reminds us that we are part of a galactic continuum, a web of stars, planets, and drifting matter all woven together by gravity and time. The image of 3 I Atlas is a reminder that the universe is not distant or disconnected, but vibrant, dynamic, and constantly in motion with us. Webb has not merely shown us a picture. It has opened a doorway into another system's history, carried across the void in the form of a single wandering body. This image will be studied for decades, cited in research, remembered as the moment when interstellar objects stopped being mysteries and became known realities. For all its technical brilliance, it speaks on a simple, human level. It tells us that the galaxy is alive, with movement, connection, and stories waiting to be found. The James Webb Space Telescope's unveiling of 3i Atlas is not just a discovery. It's a revelation, a union of technology, imagination, and the eternal human drive to see what lies beyond. Every photon of light captured from this traveler is an invitation to rethink what we know about interstellar space, planetary origins, and the delicate dance of matter that ties all stars together. The image is especially moving when placed against the backdrop of Webb's own design. Its segmented mirror, spanning over six meters, was engineered to capture the faintest glows of the earliest galaxies. Yet here, it has turned that same precision towards something deeply personal. A lone traveler brushing past our solar neighborhood before fading back into eternity. That dual purpose reaching both to the edge of time and to the edge of our doorstep, is what makes this moment extraordinary. Webb's mid-infrared instruments have mapped Atlas in exquisite detail. Infrared light reveals heat and motion invisible to the eye, exposing the thermal patches where sublimation occurs, tiny jets of vapor bursting from beneath the crust. These bright, flickering spots mark where ancient ice meets starlight giving scientists clues about the structure and evolution of the object's interior. Even its rotation carries secrets. Webb's precision reveals irregular flashes of brightness, evidence that Atlas is tumbling, not spinning smoothly. This chaotic motion might be the scar of a violent ejection from its home system or the accumulated push of centuries of outgassing. Unlike the predictable rotations of many asteroids, Atlas dances unpredictably, a cosmic reminder of how wild interstellar space can be. The telescope's spectral data also uncovers striking color variations. Some regions appear dark, coated in carbon-rich material that absorbs sunlight. Others gleam brightly with silicates and frozen water. Together, they form a patchwork landscape, a geological mosaic shaped by collisions, frost, and time. Each patch is a relic, 
a fragment of different origins stitched together by cosmic forces. Among Webb's most exciting finds are exotic organic molecules never before observed in such abundance. Their structures suggest they formed in environments utterly unlike our own, under different stars, radiation, and chemistry. These discoveries hint that complex molecular life's precursors may not be rare, but universal, spread across countless systems waiting to spark wherever the conditions are right. Atlas, then, is not just a visitor. It's a messenger, a shard of another world carrying whispers of creation, drifting across the endless dark. And for the first time, through Webb's lens, humanity has truly seen it.